And hey, well, this is Francisco from Onisher Mobile Trends, and I actually have a question for you. Have you ever accidentally lost your data and haven't found any ways of getting it back? I guess that the answer might be yes, because it has happened to pretty much all of us in the past. And now, in this video, I'm going to introduce five uh, different apps or programs uh, that you can use in order to back up your Android data so that this doesn't happen to you ever again. Now, let's go ahead and begin. And just as a heads up, we're currently holding a giveaway for the iPhone 12 when that actually comes out. So just make sure to take a look at the details of this giveaway in the link below. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Our first method of backing up our Android data is going to be through our own mobile trans software. You can find the links to downloading this in the description, so do make sure to go ahead and download it before we continue onward. The mobile trans can transfer pretty much all of your data from your phone onto your PC, so you should be able to keep all of your data safe no matter what. And I'm going to walk you through all of those steps right now. So first off, go ahead and connect your phone to your PC and then open up Mobile Trans app on your PC, and then click on Backup your phone and wait for it to recognize your device. And then once it's all been recognized and scanned through, and you can manually just select which items in particular uh, you would like to transfer over, keep a backup of on your PC. So you can do everything or all of it, or just a few things if that's really all that you want. And then go ahead and click on Start Transfer when you're ready, and just wait for it to finish. And then once it's done, you can go back and click on the pop-up window uh, to access your backup, or you can just do this from your settings and find the backup manually. And now if you want to restore this backup onto your Android device in the future, all that you have to do is just go ahead and click on restore on the main menu of the Mobile Trans app. And then from here, I just choose the latest backup and then go ahead and click on start to begin the process. And once it's all done, you should be good to go and all of your older data should be right back on your device for safekeeping. For method number two, uh, we're going to use a program called Mobilekin Assistant for Android. And it's going to work pretty similarly to Mobile Trans, and then you can just connect your phone onto your PC and then open up this app. And then just very easily, it's just going to allow you to make a backup onto your PC from this program. And this is going to be a very great solution and it is incredibly easy to use as well. And I definitely recommend uh, that you give it a try as well if you did want to look at other types of alternatives. However, we do still have three more to go. For method number three, we're going to be using an Android app called Super Backup, and it should be available on the Play Store, and it's going to allow you to back up your data directly from your phone, essentially. And from here, you can also choose which items you would like to back up, so you don't have to back up your entire device if you don't want to, which is actually, and you can even go ahead and just schedule your backups in case you are a forgetful person and would like to do it more regularly along the way. Uh, there are going to be a couple of bugs with the software, however, these can easily be fixed if you just reboot the app and if that doesn't work, then just go ahead and reboot your phone and it should fix all of them across the board. Either way, this is still going to be a very great solution. And now, our fourth method will be through the Helium app for Android. And you can use this app in order to create a backup without root access. And you simply just have to install the desktop version and then pair the two devices uh, together. And once that connection is actually secured, all that you have to do is just tell Helium uh, that you would like to back up your data right out of the back. And you can even schedule automatic backups for whenever you want, which is a really neat feature in my opinion. And this is just going to be another great way of backing up your Android data if you need to. And then lastly, for method number five, which is going to be through an Android app called Easy Backup and Restore, it's going to be a great method of backing up your data too, and because it's free and secure. And it's going to let you back up your contacts, your call logs, your text messages, and your calendar info and your bookmarks. However, it doesn't let you back up music or videos or documents or anything like that. And so there are going to be some limitations there. You can easily back up your data too by connecting your phone onto your PC and then just locate the folder name with your phone and simply copy and paste the contents onto your PC and you're pretty much good to go from there. And there you have it. I've also been five different ways of backing up your Android device no matter what circumstance you're in. And then go ahead and tell me in the comments uh, which one you ended up preferring over any other ones or if you've ever used any of these in the past. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any more uh, tutorials moving forward. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Mobile Trans and I will be seeing you all on the next video. Have a good one and enjoy.